morning, y'all. Welcome to another episode of Topic of the Day. It's your boy, Rosé. Dr. Rosé. All right, y'all, today, we're going to talk about real friends, y'all. You know, the definition and the meaning of a real friend. I'm going to break this shit down, y'all know what I'm saying? Living in a world filled with deceit and betrayal, it makes it hard for us to trust. Therefore, it makes it even harder for us to build friendships. Every time you look up, you see backstabbing, unforgivable situations going on around you. Or you've probably been through it yourself. But life is all about taking risks because nothing in this world is guaranteed to us. So how can you tell if your friend is really your friend? When times get rough, everyone needs somebody they can lean on. Whether it's for emotional, mental, or financial support. Shit is rough right now. And one day, this may be the case for many of us. When you go to your friends, and they immediately say no, or act like they can't help you for whatever situation that have you down, now would you call that a real friend? True enough. Some individuals might not be in the best financial state where they can help, but what about words of encouragement or just being there for you so that you got someone to talk to when you want to vent? These two ideals involve no ass money at all and they can help just as well. If you have a true friend, they immediately try to place themselves in your shoes. They want to feel your pain and also be a part of the healing process. If they tend to blow your problems off, or act like they don't see why you feel the way you feel, you might want to question their ass as a friend, honestly speaking. The one thing that many of us dread is being backstabbed by your friend or your best friend. I can't tell you how many times I've seen this shit happen to motherfuckers in my lifetime. It's a painful situation to have to watch somebody go through this shit. And it's even fucking worse when it's you going Black through this champ, shit. You get to the Black point champ, in your friendship when you feel like to you can tell your friend see, anything. It's great to talk about boys, good and bad news money, just to get that shit out your system sometimes. But when you and your friend money, have a disagreement champ, or argument Black about something, do they attack you with the most painful shit that you told them about yourself? Do they go and yap about your business to mutual friends or strangers? If they do do this bullshit, they ain't really your fucking friend, man. Because when you go to your friend with good news, they should be excited as you, or at least try to be. It's good fucking news. It's, it's helping you. It's positive. So why shouldn't they be excited? They should support you 100% if it's something that you love. Pay attention to their body language. See if they seem genuine. You can usually tell if they have some jealous feelings towards you. Remember, there's a difference between jealousy and envy. Now... Have you ever experienced confronting someone for saying some negative bullshit about you and then you come to find out that your friend or your best friend was involved with this shit and possibly the one starting this whole shit? A real friend will always back you up. They will never sit around and let motherfuckers talk about you in a negative way without you being there to defend yourself. As a matter of fact, if they loyal to you, when motherfuckers start talking that negative shit, they'll call you in the midst of that and put your ass on speakerphone and help you defend yourself to the motherfucker that's talking this shit about you. That's a real friend. But if you do find out that your friend, friend slash whatever is talking about you in a negative way, check them. Earl, this ain't your fucking friend. If they were your friend, the shit they are here, they come back and tell you or put you on immediately. Or if they have a problem with you, that's your friend. They should be able to sit down and talk to you about it. Nobody should get an attitude to express how you feel, you know what I'm saying? All right, y'all. That's all I got for y'all. See y'all tomorrow, your boy, Rosé, one. And remember, watch out for the motherfucking snakes in the grass. That's why you keep the grass cut low so you can see them coming. One.